There are several ways to recover your device if it is completely locked. If you have a screen lock or have forgotten your Gmail account. In this video tutorial we're going to explain step by step how. We're going to do what we can to give you access to our device. As we can see here, this little padlock appears on the right side. The top part of our device had a screen lock. And what we did was restore it to the time that. Our device has now completely reset. All that remains is. I blocked it with my Google account and also with my forgotten Gmail account. What are we going to do to recover our device? We're going to use a completely different method. An updated method where we won't need. What the PC is in order to provide a solution and recovery. The first thing we're going to do is watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. Get ahead of it so you don't miss any details and can find a solution. With this device, the first thing we're going to do in this video tutorial is to connect to a Wi-Fi network before starting the process. The other thing about recovery would be that we're also going to leave other methods completely untouched. Different methods. We will be available in the video description or in the first pinned comment. Leaving those methods for those people who still want to try others. New methods. Go to that description and see the PC method and the method without a PC. The first thing we're going to do is disconnect from our Wi-Fi network. Let's connect to start making this video tutorial. We click here on jump, now wheel. We're on a Wi-Fi network and now we're going to go to where the account appears. Locked from our device since here are our device previously. We could go in, uh, well, we'll explain that later, let's give you the tour. So they can see that our device is completely locked and has a lock. The screen also finally has the forgotten Gmail account in this. Video tutorial. We're not going to use any SIM card locked with any PIN code. Or anything like that, uh, we're not going in. We're not going to use a completely PC-free method either, from the PC. That's why we always recommend watching the video tutorial, step by step, and if you want to try another method, that's fine too. We will be leaving those methods in the video description or in the first pinned comment so we can find a solution and recover our device. This was the block we had from the beginning of the video. That is, before we reset it, before we formatted it, we had this lock. Then we formatted it and we were left with the same lock. Now here at the bottom we see the option to use a Google account. For those who still know their Google account. Well, this would be an alternative way to access. Our device adding the email and adding. We click next on the email and then it will ask us for the password. We add that password and then it will give us access. For those who don't know the email address. It also gives you the option to add a phone number. We can add a phone number. After we add that phone number, it will add a recovery pin to our device. On our phone, on our phone number, what you need to do is add that pin and then we'll also. It would provide a series of settings to also be able to access this device. But in case none of these methods work for you. Then you're going to click here where it says forget Gmail. You're going to write anything here, then you click next. We'll also write anything here, and finally, anything at all. Let's click next, next, and next. We'll do that for about 30 seconds. After those 30 seconds have passed, we will begin the recovery process. As we told you from the beginning of the video in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment we have other methods entirely. 
a different updated method to be able to to solve this recovery problem. Once those 30 seconds have passed, we'll go back. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go here in emergency mode. Let's dial an emergency number here. We're going to give him a call. Let's dial any number again and like. Here we can see the Google Maps option. But it's already giving us that option, for those people that it doesn't allow either. Option, so what we're going to do is give it. Let's click next, we'll click here on skip. Let's wait here, let's wait here. We click here on jump again. Then, while we're here, we're going to click down here where it says Motorola.com. Motorola, Policy and Privacy, we give you the last option, we lower the. We select the option where it says Motorola.com support. There. Here, most of these options wouldn't be working either. Click here to log in. Previously, we could access these options directly from here, from Motorola. We could do this where we copied here and it could give us access. We previously shared it here. And this sharing function is no longer working, it's no longer working. Since it's not working, let's click here where it says Google, let's select Google here. We're going to click down here where it says, help, and this login option will appear. Here we can add an account or create an account. I'm going to add a personal account, and we'll add the password once. We add the account, we add the password. We click here, we click where it says manage account. We'll find this option here in security. Let's go down. Now we're going to go up here, we'll be able to. To find this option where all devices appear. We're going to click here where all these devices appear, and what are we going to do? Let's look for this device we have here. This is the device we're going to use. This one says 12 minutes ago, this one says 5 hours ago, this one says 5 hours ago. I'm going to this, it's been 5 minutes. We'll wait here. Let's click here. Here we get the factory reset option. As we can see here, this is the option to reset our device. We're going to say yes. Let's add the password, OK. We add this here and the option to reset our device will appear. We're going to do it. We're going to tell him that we're going to delete all this information. We're going to do it. We do it again. We do it the third time we do it. Now we're going to turn off the device. We turn it off once our device is completely off. Now what we're going to do is press the button. Press the power button and then the volume down button simultaneously. Let's press those two buttons. Now this menu will appear, then we'll go. Look for the recovery mode option. We're going to press the power button here, we'll wait for our. The device will restart and take us to the option where we are going. We'll get this Android to appear. We hold down the volume up button and then we release the volume up button and then it gives us this. Accessing this, what we're going to look for is the option that says wipe data. Factory reset with power on select low and with power on return. Select factory data reset. The device is now resetting. Now what we're going to do is restart it with the power button, the first option. Once our phone has restarted, we will wait for. 
our phone takes us directly to the home page. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. So you don't miss any details and can solve and recover. Your device. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone. Restart completely and then we will complete this process. Let's finish it right away. Easy and fast way. They know that we have also completely abandoned other methods. Different in the video description or in the first pinned comment. For those who wish to use completely different methods. Go to that description or the comment. Now that our device has been reset, we can finish setting it up. We're going to click here, we're going to click on skip. We'll wait here. We're going to click skip again now that this option appears here. We're going to click jump. Now we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And now we're going to give our device the tour. Let's give it that run, let's click accept. We click accept continue, and now when it takes us to configurations, we will complete the recovery process. In this way, the email that we added there and we did the reset. Let's add that same email address that we just added there. We'll add it right now when it asks for your email. That would be if our email had synchronized to give our device access. We'll just wait until the screen lock takes us there and then take us to what is the Google account. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't. You don't miss any details and you can find a solution in recovery to these devices. Okay, this will take us to where our screen lock appears. Let's click here where it says, use Google account. We're going to add the account we added here, and then the password. We add the password, we click next. Now we'll wait for it to recognize that email. If we see that it already recognizes the email, then this video tutorial would be successful. We'll click here where it says, jump. We click on skip, we click here on accept. We click on, skip back to this screen lock, and then we click, OK. Waiting a few more seconds here would take us to the next section. We are almost finished with the recovery process. We click on skip, we click on next. We click next, then we click finish. Now that we have finished this process of ours, the device would be fully ready and recovered. If our video works for you, subscribe and turn on notifications. Like it, share it, and leave a nice comment. That's all for today.